Hello everyone, it's Denise. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so nice to see you guys again. If this is your first time to my channel, then welcome to my channel. I'm here with you to share my life in Australia. Hello guys, today I want to talk about a topic that is a bit more serious. Uh, it's about discrimination. Um, because I really want people be more aware about this issue, especially me as an Asian come to Australia, even though it's multi countries, multi countries, no. country, <laughs> multinational. <laughs> Thank you, multinational country, but more or less it still happened to us. Um, so today I met my friend Edwina. <laughs> Do you want to introduce yourself? Hello, <laughs> I'm Edwina. Um, Edwina, you are... I'm a certified carpenter and... And I am a qualified chef, I have got... Yeah, we both are qualified, we get our diplomas. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been searching for a job in carpentry for almost a year. I would call up like businesses and the first question they would ask me if I'm asking for someone else or for myself. And then when I would say it's for myself, they would pause or hesitate um, and then they would say no. So like on that phone call, I knew when the moment that they pause, it means no. Um, and then I've also had phone calls where the guy would ask me if I'm a big, strong girl. So I think size doesn't matter in a job because carpentry has a lot of um, uh, like you can do roofing, you can do framing, you can do flooring, you can do second fixing. So to me, that question doesn't really matter if I'm a big, strong girl. If I can lift, um, if I go to the gym, if I'm uh, like if I work out and I'm fit, I can lift. It doesn't matter whether I'm big or small. Um, and then I also did a trial with one of the company and on that day I meant to lift because it was a kitchen fixing in the Perth airport but that trial I wasn't lifting anything at all and then he came back to me um, saying that I wasn't fit for the job but he didn't let me lift in the trial so it doesn't make sense to me yeah i feel like it's really hard for girls to find a job in your industry yeah so i knew someone who knew who was working in one of the construction site and then he knew someone else so i sent my resume to this guy and then this guy forwarded to one of the co big companies, big construction company, and then they at, um, they forward my resume to someone else. So at the moment, I'm working with this um, boss, which I'm really happy because he's a really good boss. I would say I'm really lucky to know this person uh, who gave me the contact of his friend, and I'm really lucky to have a really really good boss who looks after me yeah. it's my feeling like I don't know sad and also really 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 happy yeah yeah sorry <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm quite lucky because from my internship um, and from the first day I come to Australia there's no problem for me to get any job at all at all and um, I actually get a lot of job offer and when I do an internship, all the chefs are very nice to me and they are also willing to teach me. Like, yeah. But there wasn't um I I heard about like sexism since I was very young, but I never feel that way until one day it is a new opening restaurant. So my boss is going to send me to to somewhere to get to training. So uh, after I finished my training, I came back and uh, opened a, a restaurant together with the whole new team. So basically it was me 
and uh, my workmate. So it was me as uh, I'm going to learn thing, new things from the kitchen. So me as a chef and the other one, he's a guy, but he's going to work in as a floor staff. Okay, so that's it. So like, when I went there, obviously uh, my boss didn't tell the people over there who's going to train me. They did, my boss didn't say, he sent a very small little girls to there. So when they saw me, I knew it. When you saw it, when you saw how they look at you, like obviously my boss sent me because I'm capable, okay? Otherwise he wouldn't send me as a person, okay? I mean, what's, what's wrong with people? Right, thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand how you feel. Yeah, because it, it, it doesn't make sense if your boss sent just one chef to there to learn everything, which means I have the, I'm capable to do that. Otherwise, my boss wouldn't do this to risk all his business, right? But when I got there, people look at me, uh, especially the chef, the head chef who is going to train, train me. He looked at me and he, he was like, his eye was like really shocked. And he also said something like, Oh, why are you doing kitchen? Why is not that guy doing the kitchen? Like literally just ask this question. Well, I understand their concern, but what well, isn't because he, for him, he thinks the guy should do in the kitchen as chef, but the problem is he's not even a chef. He doesn't know how to cook, okay? <laughs> he even once asked me like, do you regret to choose working as a kitchen? I was like, what kind of question is? I was actually really upset, but I was I was very competitive. So when I got there the first day I got this treat unfairly and they looked down at me just because I am a female. I was like it's alright. I I my our, our, we 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 was there for like two weeks so the sort of first day I got this and I was like alright. I told myself it's all right. Whatever they say, it looks down at you. It's all good because I'm going to prove to the <laughs> my capability, and I did very well. I did very well. So I guess I had lots of compliments. Like second day, the third day, they already changed their mind. So I was so angry. I was like, I'm gonna do my best <laughs> to show you I can do it, so they can shut up. I also got discriminated while I was at work. Like, right um, now, like, you yeah. don't know. He literally stopped his work to check my work. So he's a jeep rocker and I'm a carpenter. <laughs> it's a completely different trade. Yeah. But, like, before he, um, the first or second day he met me, he asked me why did I choose this trade. And, uh, like, it's tiring. It's only, it's for men, it's not for women. Why, why should... Why didn't I choose something else? And I said, I like it. Like, I want to be in the trade to build my own hotel. That's my dream. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of times he would, like, stop his own work, which is a complete different trade, <laughs> to check my work. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> you don't <laughs> yeah. do even know how to do a work. <laughs> and I was like, I was really angry. And for me to be polite, I told him if any issues, he should speak to the boss and not me. But my colleague told me I should have said Kane. Kane is actually like a bad word. Like, a Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I didn't want to say it because I was just like, no, no. I, I need to prove that I can do the job because, like, I can do doors, I can do window seals, I'm doing decking at the moment, I've done flooring, so why should I argue with someone who's not even doing the trade, you know? Yeah, like, it doesn't mean, like, it's a waste of time, a waste of energy. And I never, I think about a week after I told him all, and I told his supervisor, I didn't see him. So, yeah. Yeah. Get fired? <laughs> Probably? We don't know that. <laughs> I don't know, but... Yeah. Cheers. <laughs>
Well, we need to relax, okay? It's too stressful. Like my trade, they advertise for more, like more women into the trade. They want like women to be working in the trade. Right now. Yeah, like they start. They want to change. Actually, no. It's been um, I think a couple of years. So when I enrolled for carpentry, mm-hmm. uh, the person at the desk was like, "Oh, finally, a woman is in carpentry." They advertise women in trade, but then they don't want to hire women. So it's contradicting. Yeah. It's more whether you're willing to do it or not. Yeah. Uh, whether you're willing to carry or lift heavy stuff or whether you're willing to solve like really difficult problems. So it's just problem solving. Yeah. Seems so. Problem solving, yes. But yeah, I mean it's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> so how you overcome all this difficulty this these things, the discrimination, those kind of thing. Mm. Hmm. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> um. I basically don't complain at all at work. Like I never complain. And like when my supervisor tells me to do this, I just do it. I never say anything. Um. Because I'm willing to learn. Like I know that I have to prove harder compared to men. I'm always like in the half an hour early to work. I set up everything before everyone else comes to work, so it's easier. And then, like, I would do overtime, but like I would just put a, a set amount of time, but I would do overtime unpaid because I want to finish the job. And I want to like if there's any issues arise, I will ask my supervisor. I feel like when people look down at you, the best way. Make them shut up. It just proves yourself. You can do it. It's not about your girl or your guy, how old you are, where you're from, your background. You just you just need to show them. And once you show them, uh, there's nothing to say. Yeah. So I was actually I was so happy with the S A N the the draft the, the one way. Piece me off the first day, uh, but as I end, uh, we respect each other, and um, the chef told me a lot, and I still really I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for you watching. <laughs> we make this video because we want uh, people more aware about this yeah. issue. I mean, I understand why people will more prefer to hire male than female that's the reason yes if i were a boss i ask myself what when there's so many resumes in front of me why pick the man first or female first but sometimes you know men doesn't do their job better than women and women sometimes do the better job than men it's because we have it's attention to detail Yes, so let's we we got our own advantage as well. Um, what I, I, I want to say is, I think it's all about your attitudes. If they are able to do the job, like, yeah, they want to do the job. Yeah, it's, I hope this video can help you to get more courage and uh, don't give up. We are all here together. And try harder. And prove to people. Right. Give a chance to women. <laughs> yeah, and I give a chance to women as well. <laughs> Alright, guys, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And you can leave a comment to tell me if you have the same experience. So, what do you think about this topic? Um, Alright, don't forget to subscribe my channel anyway. Subscribe. And Edwina is a model and a nice carpenter. She got her own Instagram. Style decoy. <laughs> yeah, I'll put the name here. Name here and check out. Surprised you. Surprised you. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye bye. Love you all. <laughs>